Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Now, got a tweet earlier from Will saying, what do you think of this Sophie Aspin video? I had a watch of it and I was quite impressed. Her bars were really cutting that little tea guy down to size. And it got me thinking of that whole Afghan Dan thing. People still message me now and say, oh, Tic Tac, put you back in your box. Oh, that whole Tic Tac business was lit. It wasn't. That's massively overrated. The whole thing was mm, monotonous. It was infantile. I mean, the amusement arcade, that's where it was filmed. Him prancing around. I've said it before and I'll say it again. He looked like an angry prawn, some kind of aggressive, exotic fish in a tank. I mean, he hadn't even put the money on the machine, the, um, what was it, the car racing machine, Outrun or whatever it was. He was just pretending to play in his local corner shop, eating candy floss and waving Tic Tacs and Space Raiders round. The whole thing was ridiculous. Ridiculous. And I haven't answered it, not because I'm scared, but because I've been learning griming and I've been assessing my position. Will and E says he's friends with me now, which is great, but he's since released a video where he describes Afghan Dan as the hero, which makes me wonder, you know, I want to take him on face value and say, yeah, we're mates and stuff. But how's he ended up the hero out of this? He was the one who decided to put on Twitter 150 retweets and I'm going to send for the Tic Tac Man. I was just sitting in my garden eating a few bacon sandwiches thinking the whole Tic Tac business had died down. No wonder I got angry about it. But I'm not going to let it be like, oh, Afghan Dan put him back in his box. Oh, he beat him. You didn't beat me. But I'm not going to put a grime track out on on some video that Will and E is then going to suck up onto his page and have my head prancing round or dancing weirdly or something i've learnt my lessons i don't have the editing skills to live with these guys they're kicking lumps out of me in this arena in that respect i want to do it for my heart my videos are about me and me talking to you and i'm talking to you now afghan dan i will be at this battle that you've been tweeting about against dylan brewer at the end of september me and you need to have a chat when i when i when you see me there and we need to decide how we're going to settle this. Because I don't want to do some ridiculous parody video. I want to battle you toe-to-toe, -to man-to-man, -to -man, like an eight mile at the end of that. I want to do bars at you from my heart. The grimiest grime you've ever heard. Deeper than deep. Go deeper on you than you can imagine, as Sophie Aspin described it as. And that's not some kind of homoerotic thing. It's not. I'm not even interested in men at all. And I'm not, to be honest with you, it's not any judgment because I think everyone should choose whatever they want. But me personally, I don't think bottoms are attractive. I've watched pornography videos and uh, for me, it does nothing for me. Full stop. I mean, I don't think I could even, if there was a woman who wanted me to do that, I don't think I could do that. I'm, I'm off the track now. But Dan, I will be there at your battle. We will talk about it. How you want to do this. I think we should go live and battle each other or we should get someone filming it, no editing, it just gets uploaded. As soon as we're finished, my bars, your bars, let's see who's the grimiest.